Oh no! Whenever you say oh no in this Sonic world, you get to eat at the hotel buffet for free. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Give it! Oh no! iPad! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Tails is gonna die! Woo! Hooray! Listen carefully to the <laughs> lyrics of the music. Rick Warrior! What up, what up, folks? Here's Rick Wah, and for this video's reaction, I'm gonna be reacting to Sonic Adventure by Video Game Donkey. Now, first things first, it has definitely been quite a while since I've last done a reaction video to Video Game Donkey's channel, and you know already how his content goes about. It's definitely very hilarious how he goes about with his commentary, gameplay, and uh, sound effect and meme incorporation into the schmecks of things. <laughs> And also, as well, to a fun little fact, the first Sonic game that actually introduced me to Sonic was Sonic Adventure. For the Dreamcast, to be precise. But, I'd have to say, out of my favorite 3D Sonic games that I've played more times than not, I'd have to say Sonic Adventure DX Director's Cut. I've actually played that more than Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, but I did definitely like Sonic Adventure 2 Battle a lot because of the whole Chow Garden thing being in the schmicks of that. But, yeah, either way, I'm gonna get right into it, and I'm gonna switch over to the green screen webcam, real quick for y'all. There we go, folks. Also, I hope all of y'all are having a wonderful day today as well, and please be sure to check out and support Video Game Donkey within his content creation journey, along with any other content creators that I react to, and supporting them within their content creation journeys. But before I get started with this video here, I would like to give a very special thank you to everyone for the positive support from watching my videos to liking my videos, for the positive comments on my videos, sharing my content around as that does help with the algorithm, and especially to all of y'all who have subscribed to my channel and made sure to smack that bell button so then y'all know when it is, that I'm uploading new content onto my reaction channel, and I greatly appreciate the support thus far and going forward. Y'all are amazingly awesome folks. Okay! And if there's any videos of suggestion y'all have for me, please be sure to comment that down in the comment section below. And if it is a video that I've already seen, then I'm not going to react to it because then it is not a genuine reaction on my end. So just making sure to point that out. But without further ado, let's get started, shall we? Sonic Adventure was the first ever 3D Sonic, unless we count Sonic 3D Blast, which was 2D, and we have to ignore Sonic Jam and Sonic R doesn't count either because that's racing and racing can never truly be 3D. When this came out, wars were ended. Computer and Video Games Magazine called it one of the greatest games of all time. <gasps> You're right. Edge Magazine <laughs> called it a worthy rival to Mario 64. Yep. <gasps> You're right. It won every award, even the legendary Blockbuster Entertainment Award for Best Dreamcast Game that year, and that was the oh, wow. same year that Seaman came out. <gasps> You're right. Then, when Sonic Adventure was re-released on the Xbox 360 in 2010, critics said that actually oh. this game gets a lower score than Ooh. Balan Wonder World now. Damn! I think what trips people up with this game is they see the photorealistic graphics and expect the physics to function like they would in the real world. Ooh. But what you have to remember is that this game was made in Unreal Engine, so it's all fake. One of the major <laughs> things we look for in a great Sonic is the height of the hedgehog. The Sonic from Adventure is too short to ride the Dumbo ride at Disneyland, but tall enough to run faster than a seagull. Don't get me wrong, Balan, incredible game, especially the dancing parts, but you don't get that same sense of adventure. Watch this pause. That's not a pause. That's an adventure pause. This is beginning to blow my mind. The hub where I mean adventure field is classic. I just want to yep. jump into the hotel pool with a giant talking cat and go fishing. The water is cool and blue like Sonic. Bask in the healing energy of electric guitars and computerized trumpets. Even though tensions are high with the train employees, the announcer is always so courteous and professional. The train headed for the Mystic Ruins will be departing soon. Everybody, look at the funny man in front of Burger World who you can drop through the floor because he's made out of the same material that Sonic is. No! 
The world of Siba Adventure is very fleshed out with a lot of small details. Since this is a resort destination, the police all use silenced weapons so that they don't wake anybody up at nighttime. Ready? You know crime is low in Station Square when the big news story of the day is about how someone left a manhole open. However, there is a more sinister side to the town lurking beneath the surface for allowing the casino to operate without regulations. Tails receives a tea kickback to his bank account. Oh, that's where you watch Ape. Have you ever asked yourself why does the Chow Garden have a black market where you can buy illegal food? Well, think Actually, about it. No. Who lays those eggs? Dr. Eggman. The frog is possessed by your tail. Once what? you get your tail, you'll be complete and ultra strong. Oh. This is never made explicit, but I believe that whenever you say oh no in this Sonic world, you get to eat at the hotel buffet for free. <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, give it, oh no, I've had, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, Tails is gonna die. Woo. Hooray! Listen carefully to the <laughs> lyrics of the music and you can learn a lot no. about the characters, their motivations. Tails, as we all know, wants to fly high in the sky. Okay. Knuckles is my friend, Knuckles is my ally, and he wrote this song himself, so don't anybody make fun of him for how stupid it is. Here I come, rougher than the, the rest of them, the best of them, them tougher than, than leather. leather. You call me Knuckles. Knuckles. Like Sonic, I got on chuckle. I'd rather flex my muscles. muscles. Do not like this, <laughs> this is serious. <laughs> song is a banger <laughs> from the lyrics i know everything about knuckles now but he doesn't know anything what's going on here huh? <laughs> who are you did you do this what's happening to you the music is booming the sound yes. is zooming but also the budget was always ballooning sega could have saved 14 million dollars by cutting the sections with big the cat but they stuck to their guns because his frog was the key to the entire storyline hold on froggy i got it froggy Froggy? Froggy? I hate frogs. Just hearing the word gives me creeps. I'm begging you, please, don't say that word anymore. Froggy! Sonic Team had run past every deadline and were now spending money they didn't have. Ultimately, it came down to two options. Either cut Froggy from the game, or Sega would go out of business. The decision was obvious. Behold! It's a tailed frog! Very unique! Every single person with a Dreamcast bought this game. But that was only 10 people. Is this a dream? It's more like a nightmare. Shaga should have listened to me. In the game Tails Adventure, you can only play as Tails. So they should have called this game Sonic and Knuckles and Tails and Amy Rose and Big the Cat and E102 Gamma Adventure. Should this game really be sent back to Balan Blunder World in a coffin? Something we should all learn from Sonic Adventure is that there are seven sides to every story, and there are seven Chaos Emeralds. But come on now, a worthy rival to Mario 60. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Yeah, I, I will personally say, I, I feel like the worst part about Sonic Adventure was the big, the cat levels. Like, <laughs> that, that's like the biggest, like, gripe that, that I have was just big, the cat. And just, <laughs> yeah, that, that part, that was the most unenjoyable part of Sonic Adventure, to say the bare minimum at least. But... Everything else about it was pretty good, or amazing, actually. I, I found a lot of replay value in it, because I've definitely played the game multiple times. Honestly, more than Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, actually. But, yeah. No, the soundtrack was fire. The gameplay was fire. Well, besides Big the Cat. That was a waste of space. <laughs> but, I digress. There were a few funny little tidbits in the schmicks of this. But overall, Video Game Donkey was speaking relative facts on that. I am kind of surprised, however, that the Xbox 360 version of Sonic Adventure DX Director's Cut actually got so low of a rating. That I will say at the least. But, I don't know, maybe that's just me. But, <laughs> either way, 
good stuff to Video Game Donkey for this one, and especially for bringing back a classic like Sonic Adventure into the schmicks. But either way, I'm gonna switch back over to the regular webcam real quick for y'all. There we go, folks. Hope y'all enjoyed that as much as I did, to say the least. <laughs> but either way, I'm at the end point of this reaction video, and if y'all have gotten thus far, I do greatly appreciate that. So basically, I'm finna bounce. So there's that. And if y'all like this kind of content on my reaction channel, of course, please be sure to leave a like, leave a positive comment, share my content around as that does help with the algorithm. And if y'all have not already yet, of course, please be sure to smack that subscribe button and the bell button so then y'all know when it is that I'm uploading new content onto my reaction channel. And the support is very much so greatly appreciated. Y'all are amazingly awesome folks. And until the next reaction video that I upload, peace out, y'all.